Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here with... Bradley. And the critters, of course. Jelly, you can't see it, but Jelly Bean, maybe you can see her little head right there. It's right there. She gets right behind me, and she kind of uses part of my butt like a pillow. But I'm okay with it now. And, yeah, she just hangs out. So I'm going to do a real quick thing. Or I'll, Come on, who are we kidding? I'm not going to be quick on this video. So, you know, you might as well go get some coffee and just, you know, plan to spend a little bit of time with me. Or else watch me in five-minute segments if you need to. So, anyway, this is part two of the hat donation because I even said to Brad the other night, I said, I was kind of disappointed. I thought I had more hats done. And he said, well, you have a whole box of them out in the front room. I had completely... I'm sitting right by him. I completely forgot about that. So we're going to add that to the to the um, pile, to the bag that's already going to, we're going down Monday to donate them and, and meet with the uh, organizer and stuff down there. Um, so I want to show you guys some hats, and then you know i got to run my mouth about some other stuff. So, <laughs> so we were at 26, right? Yeah. yeah. So this would make 27. These are all hats I did. I like this one. I think it's pretty cool. Do you want me to toss them? Or? Uh, yeah, let me. Come on, Nix. Nixie. Well, I can just do. I can just put them oh. down here. Oh, okay. Got you can put them in the bag. Uh, I can put them okay. in the bag. Okay. That's 27. Here would be 28. 29. This will be 30. It's kind of a kaleidoscope, I call it. 31. This will be 32. 33. 34. 35. It's a, it makes a diamond pattern. So this was 35. Okay. 36. This one is one that Kathy made that that I hadn't that I found. So um this would be 37. That's from my friend Kathy. Oh, that's soft. Yeah. Okay. This is 38. Thirty-nine. This would be forty. This is a diamond again. Forty-one. I really like the iridescence. Or not the iridescence, the uh, um fluorescent. Yeah. So what that was 40. forty one. Okay. This would be forty two. Forty three. Forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven, little bitty, forty eight, forty nine. This will be number 50. A bright one? Yeah. 51. That's cool. Itty bitty 52. And the last one. So this will be number 53. So, cool. You realize that you're only going to give half of them away? I know, yeah. and I was so disappointed just because, I mean, I know some sometimes I have a smaller amount, but, you know, I wanted to give, since we're not going to donate every month, I wanted to give, and I wanted to make sure there were hats, more hats available for people that wanted them. Yeah. I didn't want to just be a few hats and people running around and, and other people are like, oh, where'd you get that, you know, in the shelter? And they're like, well, you know, I, I, I got it out front and they're all excited and... Then the desk tells them, no, we, you know, we already handed them out or they're gone. 
And I know they'll go pretty fast, but I, I just want everybody to have a little bit yep. more of a choice. It's, you know, and it's nice. I mean. And because... it's kind of nice for me to see, because I, I create the patterns as I loom. And so I'm never sure what I might be doing. So it's kind of fun to see, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. You know, and, and a lot of, a lot of times, like if the big companies will donate hats or whatever, yeah. they're just. Plain black yeah. and red. Yeah, and I mean, some people love that, and that's and that's great. But I'm talking about mainly. That's why I do more kid kids hat is because you know those kids they lose those hats. Mm -hmm. They don't mean to. They lose them and stuff. And also, kids love the bright colors, yeah. the fluorescent, the very colorful, and it kind of makes them feel like, hey, this is my hat. Nobody else is going to have a hat like this. Yep, it's my hat. You know, and they'll they'll really cherish it. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll be very happy about it. And I mean, that's the hard times those people are going through. Yeah, if there's a women and children's shelter, and then there is a men's shelter. And you know, it's a hard time. Yeah. I know some married people they end up having to stay in different shelters because you know that's you know what they have available. And you know, these people have most of the time lost everything that they own because if they get evicted or whatever and if you're homeless you can't lug around you know uh yeah. you know big, big u-haul of your possessions yeah. you know i'm homeless but here's my u-haul can you watch it you know i mean that's why homeless people that have been homeless for a long time they guard those shopping carts with their yeah. life and that's like their whole entirety right in there. So I'm really thrilled about that. That makes me a lot happier because sometimes you, when you make I when you're making hats all the time, you kind of wonder after a while, why am I doing this? Uh -huh. Because we hadn't donated in so long mm -hmm. that you know I kind of like why am I doing this? And then I just kept making them. I just love making them. Like there'll be a a place to donate, and so you know. So oh, yeah. well, what? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. One of the things that is very cool about up here, as opposed to Florida, is the the colder weather lasts a lot longer, and overall the winters are colder up here than they were ever down in Florida. I got you down know? to thirty last night. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. It was like woo woo. <laughs> but um, so today I like to take the weekends off of the all of the extra you know cleaning domestic chore stuff you have to do the cat litter box today but um i'm gonna make my cucumber salad which is just cucumber i use um purple onion and uh tomato and i just put italian uh bottled italian dressing on it and um just let it marinate and it's a good quick snack because um you know, being a diabetic, you always have to really watch the carbs. And Brian and I are kind of snacky type people. So yesterday, I thought of, okay, I thought I was going to get my driver's license. Each state is different. And in this state, if you're a woman, and of course, you know, we women have gotten married and have changed to our husband's last name. So it doesn't match our birth certificate. So I had to have my marriage license. Well, I don't have my marriage license. I have a copy of my marriage license, but it can't be that. It has to be the original. So see, in Florida, you could have copies. So in the courthouse and stuff, we got the we got sent copies of of, of my um, marriage license, my first husband, that divorce decree, and then my marriage license license for us being married and that was all great but here you got to have the original so you're gonna have to find that i know it's here and we're y'all getting things unpacked but you know we're still we're kind of in the well, we're not even we've done more than half oh yeah you know but you know getting getting down to to being able to find more stuff so um gonna have to do that it's no biggie my Florida driver's license is still valid for at least four more years. So, um, but we'll get that taken care of. 
Then I went out to lunch with a friend, and then I came home, and I had dropped Brad off, uh, or we had come in and stuff, and then I left for lunch, and then I came back. And then we left because I wanted to get Brad out in the sunshine. It was a, such a beautiful day. We took Jelly Bean with us. Um, we normally take her with us. And um, we wanted to go over to Subway. They had the BOGO where you buy one sandwich, you get the other one half off. I'm sorry. I used to love Subway, but Harris Teeter here makes the sub sandwiches, and they put on probably easily four times as much meat. Oh, yeah. And all of their stuff is super fresh. It's not that salty, salty. And so I'm really spoiled on that. So this, that way, I even gave Brad the other half of my sandwich. I'm like, I don't want any more of it. And I have to watch the sodium content so much, too. So, but we got in Subway, and then I ran into Food Lion, because we need to get milk and, and a few other things. And um, I thought I was buying dehydrated banana chips. Because that's really what I wanted. Because um, like I said, I can't really have salt. And there were dehydrated plantain chips. Which, Brad likes them. I did not. I ate one. I'm like, here you can have these. I bought him some nuts. Um, you know. So, that was about summed up yesterday. Today, like I said, I want to make a cucumber salad. And I want to make a reduced sugar apple pie. And Brad's going to help me do that kind of stuff. And then I think he basically kind of ended up doing the pie. <coughs> We've got the crust in yeah. the fridge. Yep. Yeah. So it's, it depends on if you want to make a crumble one. I mean, you could make two pies. Yeah. And freeze one. Do we have room to freeze one, though? Not really. Okay, so we won't. Yeah. But, you know, and the only problem with making two pies is I will want to eat. Okay, well, we'll just do the one crust for now, and then yeah. it depends on if you want to put that crust on top or do a crumble. Yeah, I'll probably end up doing a crumble. So, um, and then uh, I want to paint this afternoon. Definitely want to definitely feel the, the urge to throw some paint on the canvas, as I put it. You know, it'll be an abstract. I know I keep saying I'm going to get back into the landscapes, and I am. But I'm just having a lot of fun right now with abstracts. And I, I got all this kind of stuff. And I guess for me, abstracts are more, even more expressive. Because, I mean, they're abstract. And so you can just really express yourself. And I I really like that. So, yeah, I'm just going to do, do another big abstract for now. I have another painting started, but um, I'm using the plaster, but I'm just not really feeling it. If you're not feeling it, I will get it done. It's just, it takes a lot of discipline and stuff to do, like, the landscapes, where as opposed to the abstracts, you just kind of let yourself go. You put on some good music on your headphones, and you just kind of let yourself go. So, that's what it is. And, you know, I feel like doing that. I like to just kind of zone out, get in my own headspace. You know, and you just let the colors talk to me and the movement of the paint or whatever talk to me. I never know what I'm going to do when I sit down. Kind of like when I sit down to write, I never know what I'm going to write most of the time. Or I might have just a very faint idea, and then I'll just grow from that. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Brad is going to, are you going to go out and cut some wood today or no? Um... Is it getting too late for that? Yeah, it's getting too late and it's getting getting cold. Okay. And uh, I need to, um, we've got that table that I was going to use to cut wood on. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to have to clean that off and dig that out. So uh -huh. it'll take me a while. Okay. We... So I'm going to work on the pie. Okay. And then we got to decide what we're going to cut for dinner. I know. I know. We do. I don't know. I was kind of thinking fish. I don't know what kind of fish we have left. We've got quite a bit of tilapia. I love tilapia. And then we've got that, what is it, that white fish? Whiting. I do not like that stuff, but we'll, we're going to use it, and we just got to find different recipe for it. But I, I'm never buying it again. No. No. It's just, I don't know. It's a fish that just doesn't really, 
doesn't really have much flavor to it. I mean, I don't want fish that's real fishy tasting, but I like a good piece of fish. And like not too long ago, we bought a bag of the frozen salmon fillets. They were the most horrible salmon I've ever had. It was just mushy. Yeah. The fish itself. And it wasn't how we cooked it. It was just mushy. And it was like, I don't know what was wrong with it, but it was like something was, not that it, well, it didn't taste like salmon first off. Uh-uh. And it just was mushy. I have a feeling that it was completely thawed and refrozen. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, it was so disappointing because you know how fish kind of has flakes and stuff. And, you know, yeah, so... Cause, I mean, we both love salmon. We've eaten a lot of salmon. It used to be a long time ago at uh, Walmart. You could get, like, the whole salmon for pretty cheap. I I used to buy that at work. Yeah? The whole salmon for 99 cents a pound. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, you would just bake it up, and it would be, uh, you know, wonderful. But, but I like tilapia a lot. I mean, and that's not too awful pricey. But yeah, I just think, I think, like, I'd like to have you make m- maybe some of that yellow rice. Okay. And then um, we'll, f- we'll, figure out, we'll figure out how we want to do the fish. And then we could have some of that cucumber salad I'm going to make. Sounds perfect. I just kind of feel like a nice, clean meal. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Not heavy, heavy. Yep. And just kind of a nice, clean yep. type. I'm craving fish, so, you know. Yeah. We like tuna a lot, too. You know, we always buy it in a can, so Brad makes the best tuna salad. I just, ugh. And it's never the same way twice. No, but he makes just spot on. I mean, if I have a tuna fish sandwich, sometimes they have it just on sliced tomatoes. Sometimes they'll have it, you know, with some toasted bread. Depends on how I'm doing for carbs that day and stuff. Like, my blood sugar this morning was 104. Yours was... 128, which is high for you, but you were eating nuts and stuff. Oh, and we, I did get some of those, um, no, not that, the, <coughs> the, the, oh, the, yeah, the, cheese it, cheese it, and there's cheese it thin, and boy, those, those are good, and you only need to have just a few, but they are very good, good alternative, as they're baked to, um, the chips. Yeah. So the problem with any of that, though, is you open up the bag and then you feel like you got to have the whole bag. I mean, not not one sitting anymore. We can never. We were talking about that. We can never just, you know, how years ago, maybe you've been on a diet for a long time and then you break it and then you start eating everything in sight. You never do that again because you don't want to be in ICU. Yeah. You know, that's no fun. Trust me. <clears throat> Um, so, yeah, I really watch my blood sugar, so does he, he's determined he's going to have surgery. We're really both looking forward to that, because that will open up a world that Brad thought he was never going to get back into so much. I mean, there's battlefields we'd like to go see, there's a lot of history in this area, because we're from the west, or west part of the United States, we're from Wyoming, so we know that history very well but this is all a new history for us and i really wanted to to do some sightseeing i want to go to niagara falls uh you know and i want to be able to walk though i'd like to be able i'd like to go on an inexpensive cruise i mean so i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep working on on getting stronger i'm, I'm able to walk now without a cane which is wonderful for me and, um, because when he does uh, have the surgery, I'll need to be able to walk all that length in the hospital and stuff mm-hmm. and, uh, just improve my lung capacity. I'm taking my Advair again like I should. I didn't take it for a really long time. And now with the fall and stuff, I'm noticing the allergies and, uh, so is Brad. So, yep. but that's about all we got yeah. going on. We're getting ready for Christmas, kind of. Brad's finding more and more decorations. I've been proud of you for, like, all the walking and everything that you've done. I mean, that's been incredible. 
thank you. No. Oh, but yesterday at lunch, I was so embarrassed because I was sitting on the bench, right? You know, and, and it's nice because they don't have the tables fixed. So if you need to pull out the table a little bit, no <coughs> biggie. I didn't have to, but um, I was scooting to leave, and I thought the bench extended past the table edge, and I fell on my knees. My one foot is all bruised up. Stuff. I was so embarrassed. It's right at lunchtime. It's pretty, you know, it wasn't packed, packed, but it was, it was busy, and, but yeah. Well, and Call I've, me Grace. I've told you the number of times I've fallen, the first thing I do is look around to see if people saw me. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Even when I know there's nobody around. Yeah. So. But it happens, you know. Next time I know to look better. <laughs> You know, so anything else? Got it all so I guess that's about it. I don't have anything else to say. I'm going to loom it later, of course. I couldn't sleep last night. I couldn't figure out why. Well, I forgot to take my <laughs> nighttime meds. But I'm still up, and it's like 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, holy moly, because I've been getting to bed earlier and sleeping pretty well. And what it was, I forgot to take my, my meds. And then, so I was up luminating. Illuminating watching YouTube. I can't remember what I was watching. I was watching it called Crime Circus, I think. The channel's not too bad. It's about, you know, interrogations and stuff. So, yeah. So, anyway, that's all we got to say, really. So, I hope you guys are having a good Saturday. I hope you're going to get out and have some fun. We're looking forward to the 4th and 5th of December. They're having um, a Christmas parade here in our little town. And then... Rock, uh, Rocky Mount on the 5th is having uh, a Christmas parade. Yeah. Yep, and, and all the fanfare. So that makes you feel Christmassy. So that's really, that's exciting. Yeah, so. that helps a lot. So anyway, love you guys. And I do cherish your friendship so very much. Oh, and my friend Leanne asked me to put together an Amazon Christmas wish list. And I, w I will get on that. Um, I hadn't even thought about doing that. So, you know, we'll put a few few uh, little inexpensive things um, you know but never feel like you have to do any of that so anyway I will talk to you guys later and I hope you're having a great Saturday say bye Brad bye Brad bye guys <laughs>